My name's John Davy, and we're here today to do some uh, spring uh, lure fishing. And I've been fishing this reservoir about 12 to 14 years. I've had quite a few big fish from the place. And um, I'm just here today to show you some, some tips and tactics that um, if um, you come and fish this place in the future, that give you the opportunity, hopefully, to catch a fish of a lifetime. Well, if I can first of all go through the, the rods that we use. Um, I've got two rods with me today. The, the rod that you can see here is a, a St. Croix 1 to 5 jerkbait rod, which is a St. Croix blank built by Tony Fordham um, with an um, Abu Garcia reel, uh, under pound braid, and the very important part is a solid leader, uh, jerkbait leader, with a cross lock um, link, so you've got no problems with the clip coming undone. And that is basically exclusive for jerkbait fishing. The other rod is a bit of a longer rod. It's um, a seven foot six. Once again, it's um, a St. Croix blank. And most of my rods are built by Tony Fordham. It's got um, 50 pound braid. And it's on a Shimano Calcutta reel, which I think one of the best reels on the market. Um, another little thing which I tend to use on the trace, a different type of trace, it's a, a more flexible trace because you want more action in the lure and um, I have these little rattles which all help to put a little bit of noise, a little bit of vibration in the water. So those are the rods I'll be using today. Um, if we go along to the landing net, obviously you're fishing for big pike and you need a big net. Um, I've been quite fortunate this net's had quite a few 30s in each time. The other thing important with the net is that you buy a net with the braid that the actual trebles don't get stuck into so that when you've got a fish you can unhook the fish and you can get the, the lure very easily out of the net. Right well we've covered the rods and the net the, the next item I want to talk about is the um, is the trace. Uh, we're coming up to the terminal tattle now and um, what's very important is that um, you've got the right the right gear for the job. Now I don't buy shop shop bought um, products no disrespect to them but when we're fishing for these big fish I like to feel that um, I'm fishing with my own with my own gear. Now the trace the trace that I use it's a 200 pound solid leader um, with a, a 200 pound swivel and at the other end I use what's called a stay lock clip. A stay lock clip is a clip that stays locked. Your lure goes onto there, it goes through the ring and clips under and you'll have no problems, that will not come undone. So that's, that's the solid leader. Right, this is my, my lure box and virtually every angler in the country would love to have a look in this. So you'd be very privileged. So I'm here now and I'm going to open Pandora's box and you'll all be able to see. Right, we've opened Pandora's box, you've had a look inside, but what I've done for you now is we've got an array of lures here and um, I'll just very quickly go through them. We've got a Paul Bradley lure here which was, was given to me by Derek MacDonald. I've had numerous fish on this. Um, last season I had a 28-12. Um, a Loz Arup um, darter, very famous um, lure. And as you can see, it's, um, it's been eaten quite a few times. The um, pristine condition um, uh, Salmo slider, uh, Red can be a very good colour, and um, I've had quite a few fish on the Salmo slider. Not that particular colour, but I have had fish to 30, 31 pound eight on a Salmo. We've got a, a Savage um, four play lure here in, in the silver. I was fortunate enough um, last year to have a fish of 32 pound 12 on that particular lure. The Shad Wrap. When we, used to, when we first started fishing um, Bliffield, there was 
quite a lot of people caught on a shad wrap. I think everybody was trolling shad wraps and um, it did account for quite a lot of fish. The new lure that I'm using at the moment is um, it's called an Izumi lure and um, they do them in sinking and floating and um, I got these lures from Holland. This is one that I've got a lot of um, eye hopes for. And then we come on to the famous Spro, which are quite expensive lures, but um, they, they do seem to do the trick. And uh, a lot of fish, um, particularly this winter, was caught using these Spros. We go to a lure here, which is called a Phantom, and this was made by an old, an old friend of mine from many, many years ago, a lad named Dave Scarf, and he, he was very famous for making jerk baits. And this is a pristine new one, which I've brought along today, and hopefully we'll get a few teeth marks in it. Um, another lure, which is a, an homemade lure, this, and uh, I've had I've had numerous fish on it, as you can see, there's no eyes left on it and it's a real favourite. You'll notice on a lot of my uh, lures, you'll see red hooks. I'm quite a favourite of red hooks and um, you get these little fads, but if it's something you're confident in, then um, improves your confidence, improves your catch rate. We talk about um, Los Arab lures, another lure, which is a darter in a roach pattern, and as you can see, that's been chewed numerous times. Um, right, we've just, I've just had a phone call. One of my colleagues has, um, has just had a fish. He said it's a nice double. So uh, we'll, we'll pop up and have a look at it. Big, aren't they? Yeah. Got some weight on. Certainly in good condition, aren't they? Yeah. Lovely lovely condition. Lovely colours, aren't they? Yeah, they're they're more like buttery yeah. colour, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Grueler today. The conditions have, have been terrible. Northeast wind. Wind's just calming off a bit now. So still hopeful of possibly picking a good fish up. That's fishy. A, a real hard day just to prove that we can't catch a pike and uh, the fish is absolutely freezing cold but uh, we've been able to get just a nice small jack pike okay we're back on Bliffield the, the weather's a bit warmer we can use exactly the same tactics as I showed you last time and um, let's give it a go
Okay, we've been gerbating most of the morning. Horrendous conditions, having problems holding. Decided to do a little bit of trolling. Put a rubber foreplay um, lure on. First cast out on the troll, bang. And wonderful fish of uh, approximately 21 pound. Look at that. It's been feeding up well. Only a young fish, very small head. And that's what we come fishing for. Beautiful pike like that with beautiful markings. Absolutely superb. And that's what you can get on Bluffield, even on a real bad day like today.